see if I have another question from Robert Fox. So shout out to Robert. Says, I've uh, been working a job for 20 years that ended up being a dead-end job as far as opportunities. Shoot, it took you that long to realize, 20 years into it. So, he says, I need help focusing on erasing debt to also save and start my own business. Okay, Mr. Robert, if you are willing to commit, okay, to hiring an accountability partner, a financial consultant, to help you with the erasing debt part, helping you learn how to save money a little bit more effectively and start your own business, I can only chime in on the things that I've done so far to start my own business, the resources that I've used to start my own business, the free resources that I've used to start my own business, and to fund it and to continue to produce revenue, activity, and build a successful business. So I can talk on those things in addition to the one-on-one -on -one coaching for Velocity Banking, Infinite Banking, Kingdom Authority. I think that's a big benefit of working with someone like me is wherever the your financial goal takes you, I'm gonna cater our program, our one-to-one -one coaching program together. I'm gonna cater that exactly how you wanna do things, right? I will say this, I'm gonna put my bias opinion and say, hey, I think you should 10X. I think you shouldn't retire at 59 and a half. I don't think you should retire at 70. I think you should work to the day you die. That's my opinion. What I mean by work is working in your purpose till the day you die, right? What else is there, right? Am I just gonna sit back, get old and gray and die and pay bills? I don't see any satisfaction or fulfillment from that. I would recommend retiring from your work that you're required to go to, right? It is a good idea to retire from that and then work more and step into your purpose in life, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in these different concepts and perspectives, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna force it on you. Right? I'm not going to you know, force the gospel on you. I'm not going to force my faith in Christ on you. But when you ask the questions, hey, Denzel, how do I become successful in this? Or how do I do this? Or how do I do what's your opinion on this? I'm going to give it. And if you don't like it, too bad. right? But it's just the way that I've been doing things and how you can too. right? I'm also going to let you know that velocity banking Infinite Banking, Kingdom Authority, it's not a magic pill. There's no magic to Velocity Banking. A lot of you are coming with scenarios where you're, you know, backs against the wall, you're drowning in debt, you're negative cash flow, and you think Velocity Banking is going to save you. It will not save you. Let me be very, very clear. As a financial consultant, someone that has studied the Velocity Banking, done it for myself, it's not a magic pill. It's not going to save you, okay? It is going to change your way of being. It's gonna change your mindset around money so that you can comprehend it better. But ultimately, it's up to you and how you manage and steward the money. Are you spending less than what you make? Are you cash flow positive? How's your credit score? Do you have access to a line of credit, a HELOC credit card? What are we doing? What are you committed to being to access the gifts and talents that you have in your own life so that you can achieve your goals financially and live the lifestyle that you want to live, all right?